What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? It's Dollar Day. Welcome oh to the vlog. He's gonna go get him some dreams. Hey y'all, welcome to the vlog. So we went to Dream Deals. I didn't find too much stuff. I found um, three bottles of conditioner and it is, I forgot the name. We bought this brand before. Um, I was really crazy about the shampoo, but then the more I used the shampoo, the more like it just weighted my hair down. The one, the anyway, it's expensive stuff. It's usually like five something for a small bottle of it. So I just found three bottles for a dollar. It was conditioner. Um, I figured if we like it, great. And if it don't work out, they were just a dollar. So I bought three of them <laughs> because I found three of them. And then. Um, I found a pack of pens, y'all. It's kind of funny though, it's because I, what did I do with these pens? I just had them. Oh, I stuck them up there. Um, like about a year, maybe two years ago, I was on Amazon and I had taken some Benadryl and like, um, this is, Journey was a baby, I remember that because she was in her dock top and I was looking at Amazon on my phone and it was like deal of the day and they had like a big pack of pens for like this really low price and I was like 50 pens or something I don't remember but I bought them I didn't need them I don't know why I bought them but now like they've all disappeared so anyway they had these big um, stick round stick pens for a dollar a pack I mean there's just 12 I'm like that's you know 12 pens dollar it's fine uh, so I put a couple upstairs and then I brought the rest down here because I can never find anything to write with it seems like journey takes everything if I had a pencil or whatever and I like to make my um, meal plans when I um, do my meal plans on um, Sunday Ah, anyway, I'm trying to get some of these orders out the door. I come down to work. It's 2.49. I gotta make a bunch of ribbon trims. I'm actually, I just vacuumed and I see thread particles and I'm like, apparently I didn't vacuum there. <laughs> but I normally vacuum probably almost every single day down here when I right before I start to work whether I'm making ribbon trims or not I just like for the floor just to be clean I, it's just like you know but I was waiting on this to arrive which is um, the maze tool I ordered it off Amazon and the first time they sent me was just just bright yellow tool and so I was going to leave them a bad review, but then before I did, I thought, well, I'm just going to message them. So I messaged them and they said they would send the new one out. So, um, they sent this and that's what I was waiting for. I had an order that I was going to ship today. I was trying to help somebody out. They needed it by the 9th. And so I was trying to get it done and ship today, which is the 31st. So I have plenty of time to get to them, but I did not, um, have the tool to complete it so I'm going to complete that now the ribbon trim I got most of it done down here it's just waiting for the yellow and then I'm going to work on um, a couple other ribbon trims as well since I'm already doing it and I already have it all cut I'm going to do this for a little while before I even start up my machines and there's something else I was going to tell you and I don't remember <laughs> My eye, like right here, is swollen up and totally hurts. I don't know if it hurts. Um, as you guys know, we rehomed Otis and um, was crying a lot. <laughs> and so I don't know if um, because 
of, you know, from crying if my tear duct, if something happened with my tear duct or something, it's right, it's in the corner and it's right in here and it's like sore and swollen. So I don't know, maybe, you know, because of that, if that's why, but, um, I'm going to work on ribbon trims. It is raining today and that is good. Not good because we don't need any more rain because it's rained like forever now, but good in a sense because when it's nicer out and starts to get really nice, mm -hmm. I just want to be outside. I don't want to be working. I'd rather be digging in some dirt. I'd rather, I'd rather clean the chicken coop than work. I don't know what it is, but I just really enjoy being outside. And so... I mean, we were outside yesterday evening, but that's while I was waiting for the lasagna to get done and, you know, yeah. So, I was like, Lord, I hope it rains tomorrow so I can get all these orders done. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to get these ribbon trims out of my way first and then we'll work on the shirts. My machine's still broken. This guy's still broken. This guy's finally working. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I'd probably be caught up because normally I'm used to working off two machines and I have all these orders and so I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I have to remember which is which. So this goes with that. These are my three T's. These are my five T's. I've got a lot of the same size orders, so I tried to cut them all together. Hopefully I got them all done. So I'm working on these ribbon trims. I'm going to watch Art and Bree just post a new video, so I'm going to go watch them. And I think Justin Rhodes might have posted a new one too. I'm going to watch those. And I think, because I was upstairs and I saw them, and their titles are almost the same, and then I saw him in their video. Like, I just kind of, like, clicked on it, and I saw him, and I was like, oh, i got to save this for downstairs. Um, Justin in Art and Bree's video. Uh, but if you don't know who Art and Bree are, they're YouTubers, and they do a lot of homesteading-type videos with animals and all this stuff. And they actually live close by. Um, and it's kind of funny because one day I was talking about Art and Brie and I said something to my husband about Art and Brie and he was, oh, oh, he come home and I was really excited that because she's pregnant and if you watch them, you know that she's pregnant, but she didn't know if, um, she was going to have twins. She always felt like she was having twins. So they went to get an ultrasound and in the ultrasound, it only showed... It showed two sacks, but one baby. So she was, you know, thinking that they might be losing one of the babies. And, you know, she really wanted both twins, you know, as any mom would. And so they just had to wait some time before they had another ultrasound. And so they went and had another one. And it turns out that both of them are healthy and in there. And I was so happy. I was like crying because <laughs> I'm like, they're having twins. And so, sorry, I'm putting thread away. Uh, uh, trying to, trying to straighten up before I start sewing here. Um, but anyway, so my husband had come home, and I was like, Heart and Bray are having twins. <laughs> He's just like, oh who? Like, like it was somebody I knew personally, and I was like, Heart and Bray. That's another thing. I need more yellow ribbon. I probably don't have enough to complete this. Oh my life, you guys. This is all I got. And and I tried to order off um, Gifts International when they stiffed me. I tried to order this. Um, I tried to order off uh, BB Crafts, but they've been out. I haven't checked. I don't know if I checked yesterday. But I haven't checked today, I know. I need some yellow. Anyway, back to Art and Brie. Um, so I was walk, you know, I told him. And then he was like, are these the people up in Asheville? I was like, yes. It's funny how I talk about people like I know them. And like we've been li lifelong friends, you know what I mean, to my husband. But he just knows 
you know, are these the people there? Are these the people? Um, like if I talk about um, Weedem and Reap, uh, he'll be like, uh, the people in Arizona. I'm like, yeah, the people in Arizona. And I was like, the, oh, 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 that's not. I was going to say it's back in stock, but that's the wrong size. Sold out, Baby May, sold out, Ribbon. They got Canary, sold out. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'll have to look on Amazon or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so they live near Asheville, and I think Justin Rhodes, I think they live near Asheville too, so yeah, they actually live really close. You know, we go to Asheville time to time. And, um, when Danny would fly in, um, and we would get together in North Carolina, she would fly into Asheville to the airport. Anyway, I am going to work on these, try to order some yellow ribbon. I think I'd have enough for at least the two I have to get done today. But I will continue to work on the other ribbon trims and get the colors. The They're pastels. So I do a section of pink, a section of yellow, a section of uh, mint, a section of baby blue, and a section of lavender. And so I was waiting for the yellow because I had all the other colors. I didn't make them all except for the one that was supposed to ship out today. Or I said would ship out today. Just trying to help people out. And it's kind of funny that I got another person that ordered the same ribbon trim. And they're like, I need it by the 9th. I'm like, um, my turnaround time is two weeks. Two to three weeks on ribbon trim sets because, you know, sometimes I have to order supplies. And I said, uh, I do have rush order available. And if you look in the shipping settings at checkout, you will see it. If you need it by the 9th, I wouldn't go any less or any more than five day turnaround time because, you know, five day turnaround time means it ships out on April 5th. So if it ships out on April 5th, that gives it four days to get to you. Priority mail, which is a Monday the 5th. But still, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's taking a big chance, you know? Um, so... They were like, oh, could you do this favor for me? I only have one machine working. I'm way behind. I'm going on vacation next week. You know, I have all these things. I, I mean, I love my job. I love doing what I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it, right? But at the same time, you have a lot of people that just don't understand that you have other orders. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be like, oh my gosh, I got so many orders. But, you know, I keep, I do what I do because I like it. I um, try not to stress myself out, but, you know, I've got 70 orders right now, currently, I think. Yeah, I got 70 open orders. I ain't gonna focus. Yeah, so many open orders apparently have eight messages I haven't responded to. <laughs> um, a lot of times, like, if people, like, if I'm messaging somebody and they, like, just message back with a thank you or some, I read it, but I don't actually open it, so that's, I need to go through and clean it out. Um, anyway. But, yeah, I mean... I'm not, you guys know, you guys know, it takes a lot of time making a river trim. Yes, the money's good. Yes, I need your money. Yes, I like your money. Yes, I want your money. <laughs> but I also want to be able to spend a little time with my family. I also want to be able to cook them a dinner. I also want to be able to, like, Journey hasn't even had a bath today yet. I still need to give her a bath. Um... Shirley's upstairs doing her homework. Journey was upstairs with her. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what she's doing. I should have bring her down. But, you know, you guys understand. Let's get to work. 
I'm so sad, you guys. I just cried. So I just went out to feed Melly. It is 4.45, but it's been raining all day. So I was like, well, I'm going to feed her and put it inside where she's at. That way, don't get wet. So I go out there, and the white duck, we had the ducks in the pen with Millie. So that's where they were, but the black ducks, which are my Indian runners, are so sleek and slim they can fit through the holes. So anytime we put them in there, only the white duck is left in there, um, which is Comet. She totally named them. She named them Comet. Um, Hound. And then I named the other black Indian runner, runner Josie because, like, I don't know. Anyway, we just call them ducks. They don't actually, we don't actually use their names ever. It's either white duck or the two uh, Indian runners is what we call them. So, anyway, so the white duck <laughs> is was stuck in the pen because she couldn't fit out through the holes but the two Indian owners could so you know um, yesterday evening she was left in there so I thought well she'll be all right until tomorrow but it's been raining all day so then when I went down there I got her out and then we realized that we've only saw one Indian runner today they usually stay together so I just went all over the place. My pant legs are soaking wet. Mama's sad, huh? Where's my duck? Where's my duck? One of my duck is missing. My arm wet. My duck is missing. We have my leg browns in your fingers. Make what in the fingers? Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Hey guys, so it is after midnight, it's 12, 13. This machine is broke. This machine is broke. So we have tried to call two different techs in the area for this machine. Nobody re nobody answers our uh, phone calls, text messages, emails. Not even the guy that we had the first time to work on them that came and trained me. Nope. Um, so now, I, tomorrow, my husband's going to try a couple more people. Like, and these people are like out in Georgia and stuff. So, I mean, I don't know what else. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. And as you can imagine, it's just so stressful. I have like 70 something orders. The worst part is there is four orders that was supposed to, okay, so I have four orders. I was waiting for the things to come in and they came in today. And I was like, oh, I'll just get those done and, you know, get them shipped right out. And so I printed off my shipping labels. I haven't made them yet. I have four shipping labels printed. I, I know. And, and here's, here is the kicker. Here's the big kicker. I never do that, ever. Like, if I don't print my shipping label off until I physically have it already made. Like, this one. I already printed off my shipping label for, for this because it's done. The ribbon trim, it's done. The ribbon trim's upstairs. The shirt is done. We're all good. I printed off my shipping label for this one because it's here. My ribbon trim is right here. It just needs to be put on the strap. And then there is this one right here here in the ribbon trim I'm currently working on so I usually don't ever print off shipping labels until I have it finished oh my gosh but I was like I didn't want them to be overdue you know how it'll say overdue and I'm like waiting for the shirts to come in and stuff and so I'm like well I know I know they're coming in tomorrow so I'll just go ahead and print these off for tomorrow so, like, the ship date is tomorrow. I put the ship date for the next day after the ship. Anyway. It's, I, I don't know. My eye still hurts, like, so bad. Like, tear duct, I don't know. Crying. Everything happens for a reason. I don't know why this is happening. We're supposed to go to Myrtle Beach next weekend with Danny. I have all these orders. I don't know what's gonna happen. If I can get a technician out here, cause you know, maybe it's, maybe, cause this is the way my brain works. Like, okay, so we've been trying to get in touch with a technician to come fix this machine. Um, so, you know, we tried and nobody's answered, but it's not like we're not like, ooh, on the phone, like, you know, somebody, somebody, 911, emergency. Um, we're like, I wish somebody would answer us because, you know, I'm, but I'm still working off this one. So maybe it's like, maybe I have to have both of them going. So maybe this is the, you know, it's like, oh, if we'll break the other one, we know she'll find somebody to, you know, not saying, but you know, you know how you're, how you think of like, what could the possible scenario be? My husband said, it's probably because I'm working too hard, which I'll solely do. It is just, it's just a season. It will pass and it's just stressful. And I will be in Myrtle Beach soon. Easter's coming up. 
We have all this. I don't know where my napkins are. Oh. I got one that's not open. I'm not going to open it. Oh. Oh, we got a Kleenex. That'll work. It's not going to have Kleenex so close to the heat press. Why are you even over there? Anyway, I'm just, I'm an emotional wreck, my machines are broke, got so many orders, and then you gotta deal with customers on top of that, that are complaining. So, hmm, I have to get my machines fixed, I'm working on ribbon trims. And finish the ribbon trim for the shirt. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. Right now. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to put this ribbon trim. Which goes with. This number three. I'm going to. Get all of this one. On a strap. making sure I got all of my colors. Yep. Okay, there's all five of those colors right there. And then I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to do this one. I've got my pink, my green, my yellow. I'm working on blue and then I'll work on purple. And I have other orders for this ribbon trim as well. So like I've been working on getting a lot of those ones done too because I figured if I'm already set up for it, I might as well get the other ones done too. Um, I have another, I'm working on a 5T, I have another 5T on top of this one and then I got two 3Ts and yeah. I think there was just two more 5Ts, two more. I got more on top of this but I haven't cut them yet. And I was waiting for the light maze uh, tool to come in, which it finally did. Got all that. So, and these ribbon trim sets go with our ribbon trim tutus go with these. So, and the only reason I got this one done, this isn't supposed to ship until the 6th, but because my machine was already set up for that design, this was the next one on, and I already had the ribbon trim done from the, you know, when I made them last time. I went ahead and did all the colors except for yellow. So I figured, well, I'll get the yellow done, and I'll just throw it on the machine and get that done, and that's another order, you know, one of my bigger orders. But anyway, so I was down here, and we're working, and the uh, lights start flickering, like it goes really dim, and then it came back up. But my machine didn't stop. And so I was like, okay. And then it did it again. And I know sometimes if you have those surges, it can, you know, um, do something to your machines, your computers, your, you know, whatever. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to shut everything down. So the machine had, I had stopped my machine, right? And then um, I was like, okay. So I shut that down and I shut the, the thing down. And then I tried to shut this computer down, which this computer takes forever to shut down. So then, and then I turned off my heat press. So I'm like, okay, well, everything is off. And so I went upstairs for a few minutes. And I was like, you know, why is the power flickering? And I was like, I don't know. You know, it flickered up here too. So I sat up there for a few minutes with Journey and we had a yogurt. And then I was like, okay, well, it's not doing it now. So I'm going to go back to work. So I come down here and power up this machine. And right when I do, it like turns on and the needle drops down and it stays down. So, and then it shows a Z axis error, which I've had on that machine before. I've had it on this machine. Um, that's the original, it had the Z axis error, couldn't get it up, finally got it up. Now it's got hook timing issues. And so we're like, okay, I'm like, well, you got to turn this bar and we can move it. So he went in there with a thing to try to get it up. So we got it up. And then it like does something and moves and now it's stuck in between the needles. We took the thing, the the thing off to try to figure it out. But this is down and it is oops, it is in between these 
well, these two. This is down too. And this one's kind of down too. I don't know. I have no idea. They're all just... So we went through some stuff and we can't figure it out and we've tried. And I looked it up and I can't find anything, so... It's just, you have, it's like having a, you know, having to go to work, but not having a way to get there, I guess. <laughs> so I have all these orders and of course nobody, you know, they don't, they don't care. You know what I mean? Customers, I mean, you might have one that might be like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that or, you know, but they just want their stuff. They don't, you know, when's this going to ship out? When's this going to ship out? If you do this work, this kind of work, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. Amazon, I think, uh, spoiled everybody and they think they can order something that is custom made and get it, you know, tomorrow. So, so anyway, I'm just really, really stressed out. Why is that F so far? I guess it's not, but it kind of looks like it's far away. I guess it's because there's a, don't look like it's far away from there. I guess it's just the, the way because there's an extra little hoop there. So they had to have room for the loop and couldn't have it. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, so I'm going to work on these, get these done, get these orders out, and then worry about these other orders. There's so many of them. <laughs> There's like, oh my gosh. I think I have 25 that I have to ship out tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, but by Friday. Hell, hell. I seriously don't know what to do. I just pray. I just pray that someone will answer our calls tomorrow and be like, oh, okay, look. Yeah, and I just posted. Anyway, let me get this done. Hey guys, so it is 1.41 a.m. I just finished two of the buff ribbon trims. So, we got this one, which is the 5T. So, looks like... A... And then I got the 2T, which is right here. I had an issue with the green, I'll show you. And, um... If you ever have this problem, like it gets bunched up, you see, let's see, I just fixed this part, but it's bunched up here. That's because if you it never does that, you can just run your fingers along it and slide. Um, what happens is the thread, um, it bunches up the, the ribbon. So basically you have more ribbon than you do thread. So if you push it all the way to the end, this is if you're, you have, you know, different colors or whatever. Um, I'm sure you, you could probably do it if you did uh, a regular, like just a one color ribbon trim, but um, you would have a lot of bunching at the end because it would be the entire length, you know what I mean? This is just a section. Anyway, so I just slide my fingers along and make it go all the way to the end. And then when the time comes, I'm just going to be covering that up with hot glue when I glue these together. So you won't be able to see it all. It's like This one's really bad. So I will put my hot glue up here on this part right here. High 3P. And then like that. And you won't be able to see it. I'll have to run a little bit more. Anyway, so that's the only color that it did it on, and I'll fix that. Tomorrow, I just got my tender touch on the back of my shirt. Hi, little miss. Little miss is still awake. She took almost a three, oh my goodness gracious, hair. She took almost a three hour nap today. Um, I just hope she's not coming down with anything. She went to sleep about before about 4 30 and she didn't get up until uh 7 30. 
so um, it was after dinner when she woke up my little baby so anyway I hope y'all had a good day I know it's just it'll get better we all gotta go through valleys sometimes right so I'm just hoping we can find somebody we find somebody we get these machines back in back in up and going even if I have to work all day even if I have to work on Easter you know as long as I get them both up and going and I can get these orders I think for a majority of my orders are pretty easy I mean I don't have anything that's like super crazy that I do have a couple ribbon trim sets but like I said I'm trying to get most of them out, out the door it's just trying to get somebody to come out here and work and my husband said something about setting a trap outside to see because I don't know if something got okay so two of the rabbits both rabbits first Cooper disappeared and then Trixie aka Nigel disappeared so uh, you know at first when Cooper disappeared see Cooper was we've had him we've actually had him longer than I thought um, we were looking back at some videos and stuff and um, I was looking I think it was maybe 2014 we got him I think it was 2014 I'm not quite positive I should look I think I have a um, let me look real quick on YouTube if I go into now I know I did delete a bunch of stuff. Every time I sign into my channel, my, that thing comes up, which is my 2020 review, which I have as my thing. Um, but playlist. Let me go into my creative playlist. Sort by. Sort by. Okay. Let me go to oldest. Oldest, okay. Um, yes, here's a video from August 3rd, 2014. And I'm giving the bunny a bath. So I think we probably got him 2014. So he's probably seven. Um, that means Boo is turning eight this year because we already had boo a year before we got cooper i'm pretty sure so she'd be turning eight this year actually she just had a birthday no she'll have a birthday uh april april 18th 19th something i'll have to look on her papers anyway um so we lost two rabbits and now we lost a duck I don't think the duck would wander off. Ducks stay together. They stay in their flock. Um, so I think something got it. And we saw holes by the chicken coop before where something was trying to dig in. We don't know. So um, I don't know. Now that Otis is gone, I don't know if like, it's like, oh, there's no dog here. So we're going to probably set a trap. I'm going to make sure I keep the ducks locked up. My plan was to actually get some more ducks. I wanted, I was, I wanted one more, technically. I wanted a male, because I'm pretty, I don't know you guys. I'm pretty sure, let me close this. I'm pretty sure we have, we had three female, because I get three eggs. But we saw the mating. But I have read online where sometimes, um, if there isn't a male duck, the females will do that to show dominance, kind of like rabbits do. Um, and we saw rabbit, our rabbits mating and then found out they were both boys, even though we bought one as a girl. Everything around here is like crazy, y'all, crazy. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, but then I did read that uh, some ducks can lay two eggs a day and it can go on for months, but then it will taper off and it'll become normal, I guess. Don't know how true that is. Just something I read on the internet. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a farmer, you guys. So 
I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm leaning more towards us having three females because we get three eggs a day, and that one it was just showing dominance. Even though we have saw it happen multiple times, mating, like she gets on top and does the whole man thing, so I don't know. It's so confusing. But anyway, I was like, if I got a male for sure, got a male, and then that way we could have fur legs and we could hatch some if we wanted to. But now we're just down to the one that would would have disappeared would have been my male because I got two eggs this morning. So <sighs> that just really that tears me up. Really, I mean first. You know, first Otis, and then a duck, <laughs> and then my machine's breaking. <laughs> but I'm just going through a valley, and it'll get better. I know it will get better, and I just have to just quit my crying. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I miss my oldest. We're not gonna, we're not gonna get any more dogs, at least probably not for a few years. Um, I just, it's tough, you guys. It's tough when, you know, it's just tough when you love an animal and then have to, you know, get rid of them, rehome them or whatever, or they disappear. It's just, it's heartbreaking. Um. Like, when we got rid of roosters and chickens, that didn't bother me. It's just, you know, I didn't have, like, an emotional attachment to them. But to Otis, I did. And... Okay, I need to stop this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's pull ourselves together here. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway. Anyway, I know... It'll be okay. Tomorrow's a new day. Actually, today's already a new day. <laughs> and I am going to package these up in the morning. And I'll probably have my husband take them to the post office. We're going to try to get in touch with a guy tomorrow. And then in the meantime, since I can't work on any embroidery, I'll make sure I get all my tutus done. And I do want to clean up down here before he comes. There's another mess going on. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.